everyone, Bree here from Abstract Actuarial, and today I'm talking all about the seven big differences between a data analyst and an actuary. So I know this is a common question, I've heard it tons of times, but you might be wondering what's the difference and why don't I just go be a data analyst because they make just as much money as an actuary and I could be just as happy. Well, if you've been wondering that, this is the video for you because I'm going to be telling you the seven differences and why you may actually still decide to be an actuary. Number one thing I'm going to talk about, and these are in no particular order at all, is the salary. Because a lot of the time that is what people uh, believe is that uh, you could go and be a data analyst and make the same amount as you could as an actuary. And that's certainly true, you could do that. The range for a data analyst in terms of salary often tends to be quite, quite wide. Like there's a wide range of salaries for a data analyst. You could end up working in a, a job where you are making $100,000 per year, maybe more, or there are sometimes lower paying jobs where you'd only be making about thirty to $40,000 per year as a data analyst. So there is quite a wide range, even like independent of how experienced you are in this career. So yes, it's possible that you might be able to go and get a data analyst job and make $100,000 per year. But um, with the actuarial career, it's a bit different because it, it tends to be that the lower salaries for actuaries are for um, entry level candidates, people that without very much experience and with only a few exams passed. So those are the people that are going to be making about, I don't know, 50 to $70,000 per year in that range. Now, as you pass more exams and you gain more experience in actuarial positions and you become more knowledgeable and have more expertise, you're go gradually going to uh, get paid more and more and more. So your salary tends to increase over, uh, not, not, well, it will increase throughout your entire career, but especially during the years when you are gaining more experience and passing exams, you're going to see the biggest increase in your salary. So um, in terms of an actuarial career, your, your experience and your length of time in the career and all the work you put into it, it really does pay off, whereas in a data analyst position, it really, you don't know where you're going to end up. Uh, now, next thing I want to mention is that uh, data analysts tend to be less business oriented than actuaries. So as an actuary, you are going to be working with so many different departments. You are going to be touching, touching base with the investments team. You're going to be talking to the legal team. You're going to be talking to the finance team. You're going to be talking to the pricing team and the valuation team. You're just going to be, you're going to be talking to everyone. Um, as an actuary, you get a really good understanding of many many different parts of the company and you learn how they all work together um, and it's really important that you know that in order to um, be the best you can possibly be at your job now as a data analyst this isn't usually the case they tend to stick to their specific area um, and not have as much expertise as of the business as a whole as an actuary one of the the big benefits in most actuarial student programs or development programs is that you get to rotate between different areas. And that allows you to just learn about the business as a whole, see how different areas of the company work and get a better understanding of how they all come together and work together to create an entire insurance company or a business. So that's one of the really big benefits of being in an actuarial career versus a data analyst, uh, just because you do get that well-rounded knowledge. However, that's not everyone's goal. So if it's not your goal and you're not a very business-oriented person, you don't like that kind of stuff, then maybe a data analyst type of position is more suited for you. Okay, next is that they, a data analyst will work in a broader range of different industries. So as I'm sure you know, actuaries tend to work in insurance companies. That's the primary place that you're going to find them working. Whereas data analysts can really work in so many different industries. They might work for 
um, casinos, they might work for grocery stores, they might work for um, the government, they might, they might work in insurance companies too. There's just an endless number of possibilities of where you might, might end up as a data analyst, which um, means it, it could be a great thing because you're not stuck in insurance. And if insurance isn't your thing, then you're probably going to want to consider something different than the actuarial career anyway. The actuarial career is typically known as a pretty prestigious cre uh, career. It's well respected, and, and I see this a lot, is that the actuaries at an insurance company are often treated like royalty. And I'd have to agree with that. Uh, insurance companies really love their actuaries. Whatever the actuaries say goes, um, everyone knows who the actuaries are. So I definitely agree with that. They are treated very well by insurance companies and, um, and it's a well-respected career. People, whenever the, people find out that you are an actuary, if they know what it is, they, they suddenly just think that you're such a su smart person and all this kind of stuff. And they're just so amazed that uh, you have that career and stuff in general. Um, so it's just a very well-respected professional uh, prestigious career in a way. So if you go into the actuarial career, that's what you can expect. On the other hand, a data analyst, most of the time, it's not seen as, as a prestigious career, career as the actuarial career, although um, many people do think data analysts are awesome. I think it would be awesome to be a data analyst. It's just, it doesn't have the same level of respect, I would say, as an actuarial career. Next, this is number five. So there's more job security in the actuarial world. So you are almost guaranteed to be able to get a job if you are a fully qualified actuary. So if you have all your exams passed and you've got some relevant re experience in actuarial positions, it's going to be pretty much guaranteed that you'll be able to uh, get a job even if you get fired from another one, okay? So because your expertise is so highly valued that um, an insurance company isn't, like they want those kinds of people, they really do. So there's a lot of job security for fully qualified actuaries. Now in the past, you may have heard that there is 0% unemployment rate for actuaries. And while that is probably true, make sure that you know it's for fully qualified actuaries. There, there are lots of people out there that would love to be an actuary that have passed a couple of, of exams. Those, that's not 0% unemployment. There are a lot of people unemployed that have a couple of exams passed. So it's important to make that distinction. Um, for data analysts, the, the job security just isn't as high. Um, there are a lot of positions out there. There are a lot of people in the data analyst um, career and willing to do those types of jobs. There isn't a huge barrier to entry like there are for actuarial, like there is for the actuarial career. So there, there's just less job security as a data analyst. Okay. Sixth is the, there's opportunity for adva advancement as an actuary. So I, I'm sure you've heard this, but oftentimes the CEOs of large insurance companies are actuaries. And that means that they've worked their way up from the very beginning entry level positions all the way to management and to senior level and then into to higher level positions, CEOs and stuff like that, CFOs, all those kinds of um, positions. So there is a lot of opportunity for advancement as an actuary or an entry level actuary and in the actuarial career in general. Um, for data analysts, that doesn't seem to happen as often because, um, well, there's not really a reason for it, but you'll often see like entry level data analysts and then they may move into a management position or something like that. But um, it's just, there, there's not as much opportunity for advancement. Advancement, I feel like I'm not saying that very well today. <laughs> advancement for, um, for data analysts. Okay. Number seven, seven is the time commitment. So as you know, it takes a lot of time commitment and 
dedication in order to become a fully qualified actuary. There are tons of exams you have to pass. You have to get your education. You have to just invest so much into this career. Um, however, that is different for a data analyst. There really isn't a whole lot of um, education and background uh, knowledge that you need to know in order to start a data analyst position. That is why I often recommend data analyst be a stepping stone position for an actuarial job. Those are some of the major differences between a data analyst position and a actuarial position. Um, there, there are a lot of them, but really one is not better than the other. I'm not saying here that an actuarial position is any better than a data analyst one or vice versa. They're, they're two different types of jobs. You have to decide um, whether you want the, the stuff that the actuarial career can provide for you or if you are happy with the stuff that the data analyst position can provide for you. Um, it's just important to remember that if you go the actuarial route, there's just going to be a lot more time and energy that you have to dedicate, um, whereas you may be perfectly happy with the set of the characteristics qualities that the data analyst type of position gives you without having to do all the exams and everything that you'd have to do for an actuarial career. So I hope this video helped you. If you decide you want to go into the actuarial career, I would love to help you become a top candidate in the Actuary Accelerator community. I will put a link to that below and go check it out and I will see you in the next video. Bye!